at, at this university um like has it would you say it's been like a really positive experience well then there are different experiences that are happening i right. guess um if i'm honest maybe um the experience of having other people come in as in okay if you go to one of the ues you meet people from all over yeah, yeah. so basically all over the caribbean yeah right? basically, it's, basically it's really the caribbean yeah, it's, yeah. Is, right. yeah it's, it's cool so that i think that's one of the experiences like i wish i had but the thing is i made the most of the like, nigeria well i don't want to say nigerian experience but as in the ex the social experience of it yeah getting so, exposure to those, yeah, yeah it really opened my eyes a lot about the different um well, the most popular tribes you know those um Yoruban, Hassan, all those. Um, oh, that's cool. Ibu and yeah, cause and like yeah, um, and their food. Yeah. I've been over to a couple of their houses. They've cooked me Nigerian soup. Um, yeah. I can't call some of them, and I probably would butcher some of their names. So I should. But that's that's <laughs> that, that's interesting. Like, do you it's think? Not. Well, I I obviously, you know, Africa is a huge place it is you know it's a huge place and we can't directly compare st vincent we can't directly <laughs> compare the caribbean much less to st vincent right. because like you have states in america um like california for instance has like 36 i think million people same right? with, same with nigeria there's states in nigeria that yeah. have like this would be one of their villages yeah and, and that's the thing because <laughs> i was like doing some research i was trying to understand some things and i was going a little bit into caricom and i realized like caricom um there's there are approximately 16 16 like one six million people in our caribbean like as what is whole. this as a whole like that, that's that's crazy to think about like you go to a state in the u.s or you go to really anywhere in africa and it's just like yo what are you that is that is a small village like yeah like you your hundred thousand person in st um hundred thousand people in, in st vincent that's that's nothing um but do you feel like Africans in in on a whole have a better grasp and understanding of their culture and their her, um their heritage compared to like Vinci people. I would say yes for most of them. There is yeah. a lot of them and in most tribes they have like their own language and a lot of them love to show off yeah. their own language. so they would speak their native language to me. Some would like laugh it off and say well I don't really know it. Yeah. But they love their they love their culture. Yeah. They even try to get people to bring like certain things that we don't carry in St. Vincent to make their food so that they could they have I feel like St. Vincent don't really have like a you know but that's 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 like really interesting to think because I I remember maybe it was last year early last year it was and this is crazy in my 24 years on this island um yeah. I think it was last year it's like in the last two years it was the first time I ever went out to fancy it was the first time uh, my family was like, yo, we are going to the first, like, we are going to where the road ends. Just on purpose. So yeah. that was the mission for the day. Yeah, that was the mission. It was just like, we're just going to, we out here. Like, we, we're just going to go in and see what's up. And so we did. And that was really exciting for me. I really enjoyed it. And um, it was also like the first time I had specific things. Or maybe it wasn't the first time but it's it's in my memory like in my head it's like this is the first time like i had um modongo bakes and all these kind of different things and speaking to my parents I'm, i realized like they grew up with these things and this is part of our culture but we don't know these things sadly i don't even know what you're talking about yeah that, like, that's modongo crazy bakes okay yeah. and for me i don't think it was two years ago it was when i was walking Right. Yeah. When I was working for a company, um, we went to Fancy, so we were yeah. doing like promotions, and this was after, like, shortly after, like, the tragic accident that happened. Right. Yeah, Fancy. yeah. So it was the first time. So this was probably like f five years ago. It was the first time I went out Fancy, and we went out twice, one for promotion, and then I think they normally have like a fair, March the fourteenth. Yeah. Which is you know National Heroes National Day. National yeah, Heroes yeah. Day. They normally have a fair out there, and. It was it was interesting because all my years on planet Earth, yeah. I did not know this was happening in my own small island. That's, what is that's kind of that's kind of crazy. Sad. Um, well, like I don't, I feel like 
I feel like I want to blame someone, but <laughs> but that's that's a funny thing. Like I don't know who to blame because mm. I feel like everyone goes on the bandwagon of they want to blame the government. But for me, I don't think it's that simple because I would even speak to my to my parents, and I'm like, yo, um, like we, I've had experiences where um, they are surprised that I don't know certain things, and I'm like. But how am I supposed to know? Like, who, 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 who is supposed to teach me these things? Because even, even though we have um, information readily accessible, mm-hmm. you don't know what to search for. But even beyond that, like the information that is most crucial to us and our culture and our heritage isn't online. That's true. So, like, I can't. I don't know. Maybe I should try. Like, I can go and be like, how to make modongo bakes. Like, what is Google gonna tell me? It might be like, did you mean exactly? You'll be <laughs> like, bro, what are you talking about? Like, you, you, you are stupid. Like. <laughs>